Hey guys, welcome to Blush. I'm Shalini from Not Me Pretty, and I'm going to show you three quick fixes for unshampooed greasy hair. So keep watching. Do you usually find yourself with flat and greasy hair just like me? Watch on to learn three quick and easy hacks. Instead of using dry shampoo all over your hair, use baby powder on a fluffy brush and gently massage that into the scalp only on the crown. Now this will save your time and also make your hair look a lot more bouncier on the top. Now just roughly tease the hair on the top. Make a poof by taking a section from the arch of your eyebrow on either side. Take a hair comb and insert that inwards into the poof. This will add a little volume on the top and not make the hair look too flat. Ideal for those rushed Monday mornings. Take a strip of cheesecloth and insert that into the brush. Run the brush through your scalp and hair. This will instantly absorb the sweat and grime, not only from your scalp, but also your hair. Now divide the hair on the top into three equal halves. Start doing a three strand braid. Do that twice and start adding one in sections of hair to the right part of the braid and continue doing a three strand braid. Take a one in section from the left and add that to the braid and continue doing a three strand braid. Continue doing the same by taking sections with your index finger and adding it to the French braid. This is ideal for days when your hair is unwashed, sweaty and grimy as it keeps all your hair away from your face. Continue braiding all the way till the end and secure the ends with a rubber band. So you have all your hair tied away easily, especially on those dreadful days when your hair is unshampooed, sweaty and grimy. Run out of dry shampoo? Try cocoa powder, as it absorbs the oil instantly and also blends into our hair more naturally. Take a fluffy brush and dip that into cocoa powder. And just rub that into the scalp, section by section. Comb your hair away so it has no tangles. Divide a section of hair at the back from the top of the ear where you would want your final ponytail. Tie that neatly away into a ponytail. Divide a section and insert a claw clip into it. This will give an illusion of a fuller ponytail and won't even be seen. Release the top and just roughly back comb the sections at the root. Now comb that neatly all the way till the back right on top of the first ponytail and secure that with a rubber band. Take another claw clip and insert that into the top ponytail. Tease the section slightly to give it a more textured fuller look. This is absolutely brilliant for days when you want to pull all your hair neatly into a ponytail and give an illusion of fuller hair as opposed to flat hair. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, give this video a big thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to Blush and stay tuned for lots more. Hey guys, Charlie here from Not Me Pretty. So Diwali is finally here and I've put together three easy updos for the festive day. These are great because they keep all your hair away yet looking elegant at the same time. So you're free to get your hands on those crackers while being safe. You'll need a few U-pins, bobby pins, rubber band and a headband of your choice. The twisted rope bun. Give your hair a nice brush. Take a side parting. Take a two inch section. Twist that around each other, moving along the head. Once you're done twisting that twice, 
Add smaller sections from the front and add that to the top section. Continue twisting. Keep twisting all along the side till you reach the back. Once you reach the back, tie it up with a rubber band. Now twist both the sections to the right and cross it over to the left. This is called a rope braid. Twist that around to form a bun and secure with u pins. And that's the finished look. Second one is the clap bun. Give your hair a nice brush. Take a middle parting. Use a mountika. I've used a ear cuff as a mountika and you can totally do that. Just remember to press the pointed side in. Place it in the center and secure with bobby pins. Use the headband of your choice and place that around 2 inches away from the hairline. Now take smaller sections and twist that around the headband and pull through. Continue doing this till you reach the ear. Repeat the same on the other side. Release the bobby pins. Take the hair into a ponytail and secure well. Start with a regular 3 strand braid. Now make a small opening in the center and pass the braid through it. Repeat if required. Secure the bun with the U-pin from all the sides. And that's it, you're done. The messy bun. Use the same twist from the front. Tie the hair into a ponytail. Now roughly take sections and push the hair back using your fingers. Roll the hair around twice and secure with bobby pins. Continue doing this till you have no hair left. Secure the loose ends with bobby pins. And once you're done, it should look something like this. So I hope you all enjoyed this, wishing you all a very happy and prosperous Diwali, 
Enjoy and stay safe. Shalini from Not Me Pretty and today I'm going to show you three quick and easy hairstyles for Navratri that will withstand dancing all night. So the things that you need are bobby pins, u pins, rubber bands and a hairspray if needed. For the first hairstyle all you do is comb your hair thoroughly, part section out diagonally from the top of the head leaving a 4 inch section all the way till the back. Now comb the rest away neatly into a ponytail. Make sure that the ponytail is secured tightly so that the hairstyle doesn't fall apart while dancing. Use extra rubber bands in case you have thick hair. Now wrap the ponytail into a bun using both your hands to secure it neatly. Use U pins to secure that from each side. Be extra generous with your U pins so that the bun is secured tightly and neatly from all the sides. With the fun section, start with a 3 strand braid from the top and continue incorporating small sections of hair into the braid. This is also called the half French braid. As you move along braiding, a 3 strand braid takes small sections of hair from the front and add that to the top section and continue braiding. Braid this all the way till the end till you have no hair left to braid. Tie the ends away and wrap that around the bun. Secure with U pins or bobby pins. braid slightly to fluff it up. For the second one, start with the side parting and twist the right side away taking slightly thicker sections all the way till the back. Use a clip to hold that in place. Repeat the same on the other side. Take all the hair into a ponytail and secure it tightly. Now take a one inch section and wrap that around the rubber band and secure it with a U-pin. Moving on to the third one. Work with the same hairstyle in the front. Pass the ponytail into three equal halves and start with a regular three strand braid. Braid it all the way till the end and secure the ends with a rubber band. If you have small layers sticking out of your braid, turn the braid around and stick that in with a bobby pin. And those were the three hairstyles you can use for Navratri because all of these are secured with ponytails and U-pins and they will withstand all the dancing and fun. 
a happy navratri to all of you all hey guys shalini here from nakni pretty i'm here for blush and today i'm going to show you three of my favorite ways to make a poof without back combing teasing or hair spray so if you want to know how to get this keep on watching brush bump it hair clip hair comb and a few rubber bands so begin with combing all your hair thoroughly take your tail comb or anything else you want to use to part your hair with from the arch of your eyebrows all the way till the top take your time and adjust the poof however you like it once you like how it looks take a rubber band Make a ponytail on the top of your head and secure that well. Make an opening in the center and flip the ponytail inwards and pull tight. Use your comb or even your fingers to adjust the poof well from all the sides. to poof ready to roll without back combing or teasing for the second poof you need a hair comb which looks like this comb the top half thoroughly adjust the poof the way you like it from all the sides using your hands and a comb hair comb and push that inwards into the poof just like this move the comb slightly and adjust it well so it's secure and stays put and that's all it takes to achieve a poof with a hair comb for the third poof Bring all your hair forward from the crown. Take a bumpet hair clip and insert that in the middle right at the roots. Now flip all your hair back and adjust the poof as you desire. Make sure that you use a bumpet hair clip that matches the color of your hair. I just didn't have one. Once you're done adjusting your poof and hiding the clip inside, take a few bobby pins and secure that at the back. Be generous with your bobby pins and secure that tightly. And this is a go-to hairstyle that takes less than two minutes and goes perfectly well paired with all the three poofs. All you do is comb your hair and take that into a ponytail. Make an opening. Flip the hair inside and pull tight. And you're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below and let me know which one was your favorite. Like the video, share, subscribe to Blush for lots more. Bye.